peoples, my peoples! Good morning and happy Friday! Oh yeah, the weekend is here. It is Papa Ziti and I've got some 6v6 kill confirmed on the map plaza. And if you guys notice something maybe a little bit different with this video, hmm? Yeah, I got a little intro going. There's a watermark down there. I've got, uh, what else I got going on? I'm putting like a little border around the video now. That's kind of cool, right? A thumbnail. Ooh, thumbnails. I'm like going pro and shit. I'm like getting all fancy schmancy on you. And on that last video, I threw some text in there too. Yeah, pretty cool, right? I want some feedback though. I, I, I want to know. I mean, I know the intro is budget. <laughs> I know the intro is pretty budget. And I've got a long way to go as far as the thumbnails go. Uh, but that's part of what I love about this, uh, this entertainment medium is that I get to learn all these kind of new skills and stuff. And um, a lot of it's self-taught. You know, I'll go online and kind of look up little t tips and tricks on how to make uh, different things. And like I said, I've got a long way to go with the thumbnail. I know that. But I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And it's a lot of fun learning. So that's why I always encourage people children especially kids if you, you know kids out there get into this just because it's so creative and it's it's just really really fun and you get to express yourself and try all these new things and you're learning stuff along the way and potentially learning a a, a life skill that'll get you some uh, gainful employment down the road and um, yeah once again we're making liberal use of the fast forward and stuff I don't like I don't like editing I don't like cutting so much um, I'd rather fast forward it, and uh, I don't. Know, I hope you guys like that. But uh, let me know in the comment sections. And oh, hi robot, hi little Rumba. Oh my little Rumba buddy. Yeah. So these guys are my new BFFs. Oh yeah. I have just come to really like score streaks that don't require really anything of me. And this is just a spray down. Who's gonna win? I liken spray downs like that to two like seven year old kids getting in their first fight and they're both doing like the windmill tactic, just windmilling at each other and maybe somebody eventually gets popped on the nose and then it's over. That's what those big spray downs like that. Oh look, oh second Roomba incoming. Second Roomba incoming. The first Roomba was uh, just a little, he was a little lonely and so I had to get his buddy. And so back to the, like, the score streaks that you know, just you don't really need to do a whole lot with. Uh, I, I like the AI controlled score streaks better than anything else. And oh, patience is a virtue. Patience. And because I like to think I study human behavior, and also because we've got the UAV up, I know there's going to be another guy coming here and he can just die. Die. So, yeah, the Roombas, the AGRs, automated ground robots are awesome for a bunch of reasons. One, they're badass. You just let them fly and they do work for you. And they're not that hard of a, of a score streak to get, I don't think, and a fatal mistake of sprinting around the corner there, ZD. Dumb, dumb. They're not that hard to get. Obviously, I've got the UAV and the um, lightning strikes. But once you kind of get going with them, you can have two out at all times. And let me just clear the path for you there, little guy. Yeah, just clearing a path for you. Go kill some people. And they almost act like two extra players, albeit very slow-moving players. But once they get somebody in their sights, and these things are fucking lethal. And I make a mistake here, too, of just getting in its way. I should have just let him go through there and take that guy out. I think I might have got shot a couple times by this guy. The Roomba doesn't care. The Roomba doesn't give a shit. He will kill. It doesn't matter if it's a teammate in front of you, if it's your own you know, person who, who called it in, he's going to kill you now. Look at all those red dots. Come on, robots. Let's go. Let's go, Roombas. And yeah, they're like the Roombas because they just get in there and they just clean shit up. And it's awesome. So they act like a couple extra players on your team. And yeah, that <laughs> Betty was long gone, ZD. They act like a couple extra players on your team. They're badasses. The enemy team has to worry about these two things kind of roaming around. And it's just, they're vicious. I love them. They're so much fun. And I'm thinking of switching out the, uh, the, the lightning strike and trying 
the AGR along with the uh, Escort drone. Again, something else that I, I can just have flying above me that I don't have to control. And I, I love the AGR's death rattle right there. When they're about to die, they just like spin around a couple times and just shoot crazy stuff everywhere and then just eat it and, and die a fiery death. So let me know what score streaks you guys really like using. Do you like the, uh, the user-controlled uh, score streaks where, I, I don't know, I just feel like it takes me out of the battle too much when you have to fly something around. Um, you know, a lot of them are on the higher end of things, so, you know, obviously it makes it a, a, a little bit harder to get. And there's another AGR. I think that is my, I think that's my fourth one so far. My fourth one, and oh, it's so lonely. He's so lonely. Now, if you're going to use the AGR, <laughs> make sure, one, you got to throw it outside. That's why you'll see me kind of try to dip outside and find a nice open spot to, uh, to have them land on. And... When I first started messing around with these, I got a couple on, on Hijack. And you know right there in the middle of the map, um, on the top deck, like right smack dab in the middle of the map, there's that little closed kind of cabana thing that people like to hang out in. Well, I thought, hmm, I wonder if I could just, you know, maybe get a Roomba to land on, or, I, yeah, Roomba. If I could get a Roomba to land on top of that, then it would just, like, patrol like up there and just completely do work and, and you know maybe be out of line of sights of people so I, I managed to to get uh, the uh, the flare or the the little grenade thing that you launch that you throw out to call them in I managed to get one to land right up on top of there and I'm sitting there and I'm watching it and I'm watching it and I'm watching it and it's coming down and it lands and then it just disappears so you developers you sneaky developers you think of everything and that is the fifth rumble right there. Oh my goodness, it's just craziness. Got yeah, five. Five. That's gotta be a world record. I haven't checked, but I'm 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 saying it's a world record. There you go. World record right there. <laughs> so yeah, be careful when you throw those things. because uh, if they land on a spot that is otherwise unaccessible by humans, or you know, if you throw them, you know, inside something or they will just uh, kind of self-destruct on you and you can't can't use them. They're no good, and you've just pretty much wasted a kill streak at that point. Uh, so, hope you guys have a great weekend. Let me know, snipers, you jerk. Let me know uh, what kind of score streaks you guys like. I like the set it and forget it type score streaks where you could just, you know, just run about and do your own thing. That's that's what I'm all about. I'm all about running around. And man, I tried playing some TDM again the other night. God, that's gonna take some getting used to. <laughs> Anyway, guys, this is Papa Ziti saying have a great weekend. Please don't forget to rate the video. If you've got a little more time, drop a comment. 44 and 6, 28 confirms, not too shabby. I will see you guys next week. Peace.